How's it going, guys? <laughs> well, everything has its moment, I guess. Uh, <laughs> uh, to me, the most exciting part is when you hand the controls to somebody who's never even flown an airplane before mm -hmm. and let them be a fighter pilot for the day. So they'll do crazy aerobatics. They get to take the controls. They'll do things like hammerheads, tail slides, even something called a lump shavak, where you cartwheel end oh. over end, which is a pretty wild sensation to have in an airplane. But cool. it blows people's minds. They honestly can't believe that they're actually flying the plane without any training. Of course, they're under the supervision of uh, highly experienced uh, pilots, uh, certified flight instructors, mm. people with military backgrounds, extensive commercial backgrounds, you name it. But uh, So there's a lot of emphasis put on safety, but they actually get to take the controls of an unlimited aerobatic stunt plane. It's pretty I'm, wild. I mean, just completely exhilarating. I've actually done something similar in a bright Lightning jet where he's like, I'm gonna let go of the controls, you take over. And I'm sure there's a lot of screaming with some and a lot of hesitation, but once you get going, it is really fun. Um, so then I have to ask, what made you want to share this experience and start this uh, for others to join in? Well, I spent 12 years in the Air Force as an F-16 fighter pilot. And one of the coolest things I got to do in the military was take people up for uh, incentive rides. So these are people who aren't pilots. We throw them in the back of an F-16, light the afterburner, and set their hair on fire. They always came back <laughs> grinning ear to ear, saying, that's the coolest thing I've ever done in an airplane or the coolest thing I've ever done full stop. Now, I always wanted to take my family and friends up to show them what that kind of flying was all about. Uh, for some reason, the Air Force didn't think that was a good idea. Uh, so that became the genesis of Sky Combat Days. Take people up who don't necessarily want to spend 12 years in the military and for all intents and purposes, let them be a fighter pilot for the day. So that's kind of how we got started. Very cool. All right, so how long did it take you to master all the tricks that you do? Well, the funny story there is the Air Force will teach you how to do basic and advanced aerobatics mm -hmm. in a uh, fighter jet, which is a little different than this airplane behind me. This is called an Extra 330LC, which is the world's most advanced certified aerobatic stunt plane. Believe it or not, it's actually more maneuverable than a fighter jet, certified to plus or minus 10 Gs. So I was expecting a bit of an extensive checkout when I purchased the airplane from uh, the dealership. So they came and delivered the airplane to Las Vegas, Nevada for me, and they took me up for a 20-minute checkout, threw me the keys, and said, here you go, it's all yours. I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> so I ended up having to go teach myself a lot of the more advanced maneuvers, believe it or not, from reading some books. And uh, so believe me, it's a little hair-raising the first time when you get up there and you tumble an airplane where a car wheels end over end, and uh, you know, watching it or reading it in a book and then going out and trying it's a little bit hair-raising, but you know, <laughs> God knows I've done thousands of these flights by now, so uh, <laughs> I can definitely say I got the hang of it, but it took a few months to really get dialed in, but uh, that's not necessarily how most people learn to fly aerobatics, but that's how I did. <laughs>